Here are my top 20 moments from my week-long trip out to Walt Disney World in about 20 minutes. Friends, normally I come out here for a week every spring, every fall, and I film like crazy the entire week. I make a bunch of vlogs that I put a ton of time and money into only to see this and I hate this. So what I'm doing this time is I'm showing you a top 20 countdown of my favorite moments, and then I'm gonna let you vote below in the comments below, what should I make a vlog out of? Let's get started with number 20. Counting them down to the top, Casey Kasem style. This trip was about exploring, and I spent time checking out some of the best parts of Walt Disney World and some of the most problematic. I wanted to take my time and explore the pieces that others just rushed by. Friends, it seems something that Hollywood Studios has in common with Disneyland is it too has its own sorrow land. Much like Tomorrowland, this bizarre corner of Hollywood Studios is so massive, so expansive, and so dead. I'm a tourist, I don't know everything about this park, but I've seen so many guests come through the big Hollywood sign thinking, this is Hollywood Studios. Here's the big sign. This has to be the key part of the park. And they all come through and they're so confused, like what's going on? This has got to be earmarked for future expansion, but it's nice to see that there's another park that's struggling just as hard as our beloved Tomorrowland. Welcome to Sorrowland on the East Coast. I have to admit, I was wrong about Tron. It looks really good as a backdrop for Tomorrowland. And I didn't really realize the kinetic energy of walking through it to Fantasyland to catch the train, or how fun it is to sit on the flybridge and watch people rip it. Most roller coasters you view from the outer edge, but Tron invites you into its core, which is surprisingly great. Unfortunately, due to private personal health reasons, I couldn't ride it, but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy hanging out on the grid. The music was by far my favorite part. I may have been wrong about its vibe, but I still feel like I'm totally right about it not belonging at Disneyland, but I do love it for Magic Kingdom. This trip was all about discovery, trying to see things differently. So I wandered on the west side of Magic Kingdom to find myself some new firework views. wondered how good could Fantasmic be in captivity? Turns out, better than I expected.
I've been fortunate enough to stay at a lot of the upper tier Walt Disney World resorts. And I have to say, for the price point, Pop Century is a pretty unbelievable deal if you're just looking to rip parks. Super friendly staff at Pop Century greeted me right when I got out of my car. And I have to say, I've never waited longer than five minutes for an Uber here. And typically they're always under 20 bucks. So if you're saving money on your room, you might have a little bit more budget for transportation. If you want to get around a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, you know, definitely not the most luxurious hotel, but also not the worst hotel. It's pretty nice for the price. I'm paying $200 to be here for one night. I think with taxes and everything, I'm at 230 to stay over where I was an additional night. It was $700. So definitely a big price adjustment, but keep in mind, if you're ride ripping and you're coming out to Walt Disney World and you just wanna, you know, rope drop, shut them down, go out all day, this is a great, great place to stay because of the Skyliner. But this is the reason to stay here because those magical little sky buckets connect you to the rest of the bubble. This Muppet Land is so immersive and well-designed. One of my favorite parts of Hollywood Studios, and it's making me wondering, why did Disney give up on making content and theme park attractions about the Muppets? Is this design for me? Absolutely not. Did I absolutely love seeing them? <laughs> the families in there? Yeah, I did. It was awesome. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean you can't love it for somebody else. That was awesome. I really enjoy the transportation and the connective tissue of Walt Disney World. Like it's just so much fun doing all these bizarre rides that link it all together because I'm a lurker and I love the views. It's just, it's everything that I love.
hell yeah, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. This restaurant, they have one private room, one private room inside of Epcot on a Saturday night. That's where we're having dinner. Wild, absolutely wild. That box goes open. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Hat box goes to drink. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Always get the back car so I can film out without being rude to others. And I, I love sitting back here. I am so <laughs> excited to be back. Yes. I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, nothing's better. <laughs> nothing's better. Nothing's better. Oh man. I hope you love something as much as I love this because it feels so good. that grew up watching Hee Haw with this Momo every Saturday night. That was awesome.
jamboree is such a bizarre thing to make you feel emotional, but trust me, my Momo, my grandmother, would have absolutely adored this attraction. A woman that was from the hills of Kentucky that taught me everything about country music and had such an amazing sense of humor. These characters, these songs, my Momo would have loved it. She never got to go to a Disney park. And every time I see this, I always think this would have been her absolute favorite attraction. And uh, it somehow makes me feel closer to her, even though she never experienced it. Country Bear Jamboree, man. What a bizarre little slice of Americana. So happy to get to see this version of it at least one more time. So good to be back. Wow, it's so good. It's so big, it's so much more of what I love. Main Street USA back home is my favorite land. This Main Street is just more of what I love and it's so big. I don't care if I ride anything. In a distant light, I followed you home. always hate leaving. Friends, while the theme parks are packed with people, what do you say? Let's take a complete loop around the TTC monorail loop. Let's check out all the sights and vibes of what's possibly my favorite ride, and let's go where the people aren't on the monorail.
is seriously too much for my heart to handle. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> These lovely ladies let me take their photo and they look amazing. Have fun today, girls. Thank you. <laughs> so my rule always is, if you have to wait for me to take my photo, then I always offer, can I take your photo? And those ladies are like, can you take my photo? I'm like, oh, absolutely I will. You look amazing. <laughs> that was such a great time. Hell yeah, that is so beautiful. I have to pop in. I have to pop in and take a quick lap. I don't think I've ever been up here before and seen this view. Man, oh man, is that beautiful. Wow. All right, major distraction. This isn't even what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh my God. Seeing Main Street USA from the top of this train station is unbelievable. And what a, what a beautiful shot. Oh, let's keep this bizarre day moving. Oh, I just had the perfect opportunity. I looked at my cast member as I exited and I said, have a good day. Then I read her name tag and realized I just missed the opportunity to literally say, bye Felicia, next time Felicia. <laughs> Nothing beats literally a 10 minute rip inside the Magic Kingdom. But hey, 10 minutes is better than no minutes. That's right, friends. The one thing that I booked ahead on this trip and planned for myself is an appointment to get my hair cut at the Harmony Barbershop on Main Street, USA. Just basically trim up what, what I already have going on. Oh, okay. When I came in and it was two five-year-olds, I was like, oh no, I've, I've made a big mistake. <laughs> How long have you been cutting hair here? I've been doing hair for uh, yeah. a little over five years. Uh -huh. so, Still getting for two years. Years. I've been in the barber shop for years. Nice. Do you enjoy it? I love it. This yeah. is what I've always yeah. been doing. So. That's awesome. I, uh, there's, there's now a dog in here, so it's yeah. feeling even more real. I think it's feeling like a real day for the barber shop now. Yeah. Now that the dog I'm showed up. I did, I did notice that the other adult has like a bubble wand. I kind of feel like I'm getting shortchanged over here. Yeah, he did have a little toy. So toy. In all fairness, he did throw a temper tantrum though, so you know. Yes. yes. <laughs> so do you have the distinct pleasure of performing a lot of people's first ever haircut? Is that a thing? So it's really, it's cool because it's like, that's a memory that is going to them. Forever. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool to think that I get to be a part of that and sharing that memory with families. But is this a spot where people, like, they specifically bring their kid here to get their first haircut ever at Disney? Literally, yes. That's awesome. Yep. People have booked their trips just for that. A lot of people wow. waited because we were close to the shutdown. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people actually waited for their kid to get their first haircut. That's, so good. That is amazing. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, this isn't my first haircut. That's okay. What, what's the last option? This is Pixie Dust, so this is from Tinkerbell. She comes to bring it every morning before we get here. Yes. So, are you doing it? Let's Pixie Dust. Let's do it, Told you guys for me. Can I go with? Can I see? Let me give me a Oh, you don't want to have a scalp your truth. Yeah. Pixie Dust. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Okay. Awesome, thank you so much. Of course. Did you want some powder on your neck? Can I put those itchy hair? Yeah, if you don't mind, that would be fantastic. What an experience. Everything is more than I would have Oh, yeah! Oh, you got that sticker. That is great. And it seems my pixie dust infused dream had already come true. For the last 20 minutes, Main Street USA had felt like a real place. There you go, friends. There's my top 20 countdown. Comment below. Let me know which segments you'd like to see a full vlog out of, and I'll create one based on your most popular opinions, and then you better watch. Thank you so much for showing up. I'm Bricky, and I can't wait till I see you real soon. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.